main char. <laughs> it's your boys. The Pokemates. Dave Ryan, Mark Robinson back for another week of Pokemon videos. Boy, it's been a while since we've done this. It's been a while. Uh, I have to remember <laughs> you which... You don't even look at me anymore when I do that. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> I am not giving you the fucking satisfaction. Oh, I'm just going to keep on doing it. Uh, yeah, we're back in Celadon City. Yeah, it has... It's been quite a while since we've done this. Um, get back into the swing of things here, playing Pokemon Blue. Link to cast.wordpress.com. Um, I'll be stunned if we get this game finished by the end of the year. Well, how many badges we got? Two? No, three. We got three. We have three. Yeah, we're doing all right. We've only been doing this for like two months. <laughs> no, <laughs> no the videos. It's it's more the um, the grind, the consistency to put videos out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's on us. But we're, we we got to sort that. We really do got to sort <laughs> that. <laughs> um. Yeah. What's up? Not much. Yourself. See, I can ask you what's up because I haven't seen you for like the last few hours. Yeah, you know, like the people been a that couple of hours. You know, like the people that start recording but they've already had a conversation and it's really fake and awkward. And yeah, when we do Pokemates, the amount of preparation we put in is, hey Mark, turn on the laptop. We'll be down in a minute just to get <laughs> the seven up. Hey Mark, put down WWE Supercard. And fucking do something productive. Which is not something you should have to tell a grown man. Let's be honest. Hi, hi there. Or a not grown man. I wasting your life. Come on now, wasting your life. You should play Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, well, definitely isn't a time sink of any no, description no, at all. No, not at all. No, Jesus. <sighs> As promised on a stream the other day, Mark. Mm -hmm. I have what I'm hoping, if you if you embrace it, will be a conversation piece at least for the next few minutes that uh, Brian gave me the idea for. Okay. I told you to remind me, but um, oh Dim yeah, Souls yeah. episode two, the car crash that it was. Uh, took the energy out of me so we didn't end up recording it yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. so I thought of this I remembered it on the way home from the shop today at lunchtime mm -hmm. and uh, the question I want to put even if you're not hoping to talk about the back of your mind at least start thinking about this is right uh -huh. okay let's say years from now you crack it big time you crack Hollywood right <laughs> wow you, All right. you become noted Pokemates enthusiast ah. Mark Robinson <laughs> the late shows they're clamouring for you they want you on. They want you on to talk. To, well, I suppose to, they've had PewDiePie, so anything's yeah, possible. Anything is possible. To have the banter with them. My challenge to you, as was Brian's challenge to me, and I will I will talk you through my decision-making process as, as we get through this stream. All right. And I'm going to put a couple of caveats in, Sid Lowe style, okay. right, on this one. Brian's simple challenge to me was, if you were to appear on a late-night talk show, now you know the format of the late night talk show. It's the host, mm -hmm. then it's you, and it will usually be two other people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Brian's challenge to me was, what two living people would you best like to have on the couch beside you? Okay. Now this is bearing in mind that what you want is, you want a situation that is a good showcase for your banter. Yeah. So you want people you can riff off yeah. without necessarily outshining you. Now did Brian now, answer this question? And Brian didn't actually answer this question. I started trying to answer this question, started trying to work my way through it. I don't think he ever... He started chipping in ideas for me, yeah. who would work well with me on the couch. But he never really posited his own. Because I'm now, already presuming either of his answers would be massively creepy. Oh, they might be. I'll have to ask him later. I'd fucking put money on it. Yeah, we'll come back on that one. Right. But, um... So, living was the only caveat he put that they have to be alive. I, right. Well, yeah, I mean, as much. You know as I mean, I, it's not like a fantasy situation where you can say anyone living or dead. You know, some of these questions. As much as I, I'd enjoy the corpse of Kirk Cobain sitting next to me. <laughs> Good lord, yeah. And Courtney Love's wouldn't be very tough. Pretty much a gaping head wound. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, moving on. Right. <laughs> Brighter climbs. Um, yeah, so anyone living uh -huh. uh, as of now. Uh -huh. um, the caveats I put on top of it is you got to look at how they book these shows. So what I'm going to say is it has to be one man and one woman. Yeah, that's right. Fair enough. The... Because they'll usually like they'll usually have one woman on. Yeah, right. At least 21st century progressive yeah, time. Yeah, you know? damn right. right. Yeah, yeah. And then the other caveat I'll put in is once you've sorted that panel, mm -hmm. we'll do what I was calling the Graham Norton contingency. Mm -hmm. Is what musical act would you like in oh. addition to those oh, two my. near you for the bands? Oh, good lord! Now I know, given the spirit of things. Uh, of the last couple of days when I say musical act to you your radio head is just buzzing around your head <laughs> but I'm not thinking Tom York is a Graham Norton appearance sort of guy 
Now, that said, he did make an appearance on the big fat quiz of the year one year. He where, did. Where he laughed like an utter dork and it ruined Noel Feeling's life. I fucking <laughs> died with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he was just freaked out. I was like, what the fuck was this? <laughs> Watching your hero be utterly yeah. inelegant. But you say that, actually. Tom York, he has appeared on the, um, the Jonathan Ross show. At least once that I remember I during the House of the Thief period. I don't remember. Yeah, and he, that. he was he was doing the bands with was Jonathan good, Ross. Was good? Yeah, he was alright. Uh, also, he he asked me the flip side of this. So if this becomes easier, who would be the nightmare pairing? Okay. To be beside on a couch, right. in terms of like uh, awkwardness and not getting the bands flowing. Well, I'll off the top of my head straight yeah. away when I think I, I I want also ideally for you to avoid the obvious because there's a lot of obvious ones out there I think anyway yeah in terms of banter off the top of my head I immediately feel like I want to have Chris Pratt next to me yeah that Pratt yeah yeah surprised that Brian didn't immediately leap out with Pratt but that's Be a good one because apart from the fact I'd like to talk to him I'd kind of like to touch him as well yeah or maybe just standard you know we can get the headlines in the um What's the uh, the like the Hollywood news they have? Is it the LA Times or something? I don't know. But just the image of me and Chris having a little snuggle on a, on a oh, like on the, like on TMZ. Or, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, me and him. Entertainment Weekly or a snake I can put up on the wall. Me and him having a little snuggle. You know. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that one comes. Are, are, you, are you locking that in, or are you just leaving that out there? No, I think I'd lock in Chris. I mean, you're look, locking in Pratt for your your man. There's a whole bunch of different people that would I would think of, but. Chris is who's come to mind first, so that's the one I'm going to settle okay. with. On the female side of things now... <laughs> this, I found, was a tough question to not sound creepy, Jory. Well, this is the because thing. Because Brian was starting to go off in a very particular, like you were alluding to, creepy tangent. And I was just trying to think of, like, women who either their interests would align with my own that we could make references, or sense of humour is I would enjoy yeah. bouncing off of. I, I feel that me picking Chris Pratt is more of a creepy answer than whatever my female answer is. Yeah, yeah, it might well be. Yeah. Um, people that I would enjoy... I'm just trying to think of people that I've heard speak that I feel are interesting people. But just, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my um, nightmare one to give you the mindset of like the flip side of things. Right? Okay. The two I picked for my nightmare, unless you don't want me... No, 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 no. Right, right. So the two I picked for my nightmare ones, mm -hmm. I picked Tom Hardy as the nightmare man because Tom Hardy is a great man, a yeah. great actor. Right. But I have seen him in many interviews yeah. and he is bristly and annoyed at the prospect of being asked questions by people. And it would seem that there would be negative yeah. charisma going on there. Okay. I'm, I'm because getting... I saw particularly like Jonathan Ross, who is among the more charming and fun interviewers that there are yeah. uh, in late night television, this or the other side of the Atlantic. Couldn't fucking get Anton out of Tom Hardy. Yeah. Now, it might be in a particular mood he was in, but that is certainly, um, I, I still recall that. And the other one I was thinking of, and not because she's bad, I actually really enjoy her comedy, but it's more that I feel that if I started trying to uh, do a riff with her, mm -hmm. she would go so far into weird with me trying to riff with her that it might make things awkward for everybody. Sarah Silver. No, not no. Sarah Silverman. I was thinking no. Kristen Schaal. Uh, I knew, uh, the I girl knew. from Flight of the Concords. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Last yeah, Man yeah. on Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a brilliant comedian, but I don't think I could follow her as far into weird as she is able to go. Okay. So I think it would make things very uncomfortable. All right. And then musical guest, I was thinking that uh, for that the alternative well, would be Madonna, <laughs> because I could not not talk about the fake English accent and make it uncomfortable for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> or like Be Bieber's the obvious one there, like. I, people, I, I would be interested to have a conversation with him just to see if he's on the same existence as me like mm. that intrigues mm. me enough that yeah. I wouldn't have him as a a, uh, or a, a, a negative um, oh Jesus yes right so you've got your, you've got Chris Pratt I've got Chris Pratt okay it's a good thing to have yeah um, Locker, at Pratt 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 on Twitter hmm See, what doesn't help you is that you don't watch TV. I do watch, watch TV. Well, not that much. I, no, I, I do, but I don't care enough about anyone in particular to be uh, oh my god, I'd want to... Yeah, for me, the process wasn't naming one woman. It was narrowing it down. Um, That's fair enough. The There was... I think, what was it? There was four that I think, like because I've seen them be really kind of like riffy and jokey on the, like talk shows that... like. They were like the obvious four to me. Yeah. And it was like Anna Kendrick, Emma Stone, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. Yeah, see, Emma Because, like, they are, like, it doesn't matter who's with them on the couch, they're going to be funny, and everybody's going to be funny because they are 
they, they suit that environment. See, if I pick Hammerstone, it's purely creepy reasons. I don't particularly care for Anna Kendrick one way or the other, so... Um, yeah, I, Brian wants to shun you for that one. Yeah, well, he's just wrong. Um, I mean, like, I, I would... Immediately off the top of my head, my head, I would say Mary Elizabeth Winstead, but again... It's, creepy reasons? It's purely creepy reasons. At the same time, I'd like to get to know her and hold her hand and stroke her hair. And... Yeah, we got over a moment of flowers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I guess I'd just say Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Like, I can't even get creative with it, with it. But at least she's of an age and she has a sophistication that I would just want to have a conversation. I probably just want to talk to her about like what was it like being on the set of the film and um, that kind of good jazz, maybe. Okay, so Mary Elizabeth and Winstead, right, like maybe and. Yeah, that was one I for the guys I stuck away from Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost because I think that that's too obvious for me. Yeah. I think Kevin Smith is too obvious for me to say. Um, you know, it was it was, it was a minefield. Yeah. Uh, now musical guest. Musical guest. Uh, I'll give you the obvious one that I'm ruling out straight away. Okay. Because she is known for the bands as Adele. Yeah, yeah. There will yeah, be a dry yeah. eye left in the house, and everyone will be laughing their arses off as well. Ah. Um, I actually, you know what? I want to say as as who I would have, but now I think about it, I probably wouldn't want to have is Rivers or just Weezer because well, yeah. I imagine. Well, I've seen him talk, and he is about as awkward as a human being as you can possibly get. Yeah. So I think he'd actually be more on the negative side. Um... No, you're not focusing. Sorry, yeah, yeah sorry. The, the whole point. You, that's you've, why we're here. You've asked me a question where you've been. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this was a good one for this week. Oh, Jesus, this fucking puzzle thing as well. And it's so slow. Oh, my God. That, that, that wow, that is hard to look at. <laughs> Dear God. Yeah. That is hitchy. Whoa. You would not think that it would be that hard to keep that stable. <laughs> that's. I legitimately can't look at that. <laughs> um, just, just keep looking yeah, at musical you know. acts. Musical acts. Um. Oh, baby metal, baby metal. Oh yeah. Okay. God, just have those free and just trying to like, because apparently they're actually uh, they've been learning English over the last year or so, so you can kind of ask them pretty basic questions that they get asked a thousand times, I'd imagine. Do you, um, do you know who might be mine for a musical guest? Who? Josh Homme. Oh yeah. There is a, there there is a man who can riff. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to him and oh, Iggy no. Pop. No more room for items. Oh no. Listen to him and Iggy Pop uh, doing an interview with Chris Hardwick on the Nerdist recently. That yeah. was a, that was a good time. That yeah. was a good time. He's he's a good lad. Um, I'm just gonna whatever. So now, obviously, we got to go to the other side of things. <sighs> Let's get stiff. Now we're up. okay. So who's the uh, who who are the nightmare trio? Um, you don't want to get stuck on the. I mean, if we if we're using your analogy of someone who just would be. A difficult conversation mm. would just be really angry. Well, that's 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 definitely what you don't want from a late night talk show. Because you think about it, you're only on for five or six minutes, and they're zipping away to the next uh, vignette, or they're zipping away to the commercials, or something like that. Yeah. So you want someone that's going to contribute to the overall conversation, not steal the spotlight, and not make things weird. Yeah. So when you're looking at the negative, you want someone who's going to do all three of those things. Yeah. Using all of that, uh, Roy Keane. Oh, Roy Keane, you gotta show it off your bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, that'd be. But that's just your using... phone went off. But that's just using all of all of your stuff there. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna use Roy Keane. Yeah. Um, I just want I'm just gonna think about people that I just don't really like. Maybe. All right. Um, Cracking open the list. Yeah. It's a long one, guys. It is. Horn drill. Go on then. Nita King probably already learns it. But whatever. <sighs> oh, it's got to be Liam Gallagher, surely. Like in terms of absolute, yeah, then, like I, guess I think some people might put like Liam on that side, and then it'd be Noel on the other. No, one. Noel, because Noel is great bands. Noel is uh, great yeah, bands. Yeah, like even when he's been talking about bands that I like, like Block Party, he's such a cunt about it in such a charming way that yeah, yeah. I can't. Actually, no, fuck it, I've got it. Morrissey. Oh, because yeah. all he'll talk about is the animals and the starving yeah, yeah, children. Yeah, yeah. Morrissey, no, Morrissey, the Morrissey, children. Morrissey the one of those things where like you don't want a, an almost mythical figure like that to appear in person because you don't want it ruined. Yeah. Although I will say, have you seen the photo that surfaced of Morrissey over the weekend at a Lucha Vavoom show? Mm, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was actually smiling. Really? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Two things you never would have expected to hear about. Is, is he lightening up in his old age? Jesus. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, definitely Morrissey. Jesus. Fucking heartbeat. 
and then to plug his new book. <laughs> and on the female side, who off the top of my head pisses me off? 